Hello friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I will present to you this uh, kit. It's the simplest and the cheapest inverter. Let's begin. I bought this uh, from China was uh, one uh, USD. I think it's uh, very very cheap and now let's see how good it is. First of all I will present you the schematics and after that we'll make some tests. Now you can see in this uh, picture it's the Royer oscillator. It's a push pull with uh, positive feedback and then it's a uh, and it's uh, how it's generating oscillation. Oscillate, oscillating frequency is determined by uh, maximum magnetic flux density, the power supply voltage and the inductance of the primary now you can see the schematic of this kit. As you can see, there are two differences from uh, the classical schematic of Royer. First difference is the presence of the C1 and the presence of the L1. Without uh, this C1 and L1, Royer oscillating gives us a square signal to the output. But if we add these uh, two components, the output will be sine wave. As you can see at the output, we can use AC voltage or uh, DC voltage from this for diodes bridge rectifier. In this test I will use only AC output. The principle is very simple. This transistor is closed uh, one at a time and when it closed the circuit this winding his winding makes an output voltage and in the next cycle the other transistor makes uh, opposite uh, voltage on the output winding. You can see all the details in the link in the description. As you can see in the schematic, we can uh, apply any voltage of the input. The only limitation is uh, 5 amp uh, current of the transistor and uh, 100 volts maximum input voltage. I uh, prepared this kit and I soldered two wires. Red and uh, black are the input voltage and this cable is the output voltage, mains power supply. Now let's connect to 10 volts. 10 volts 5 amps and let's see what happens. Now this meter is initializing. But doesn't show output voltage. The input voltage is 10 volts. Now let's measure the output voltage. AC. As you can see, 
there are 169 volts that means that uh, the multiplier is 17 now let's increase to 12 volts Twelve volts input supply. We have uh, two hundred volts. Transistor are not warm because it has no load. Now let's go to the fifteen volts. We have uh, 250. Now, let's go back to the 10 volts and now let's see the shape on the oscilloscope. Now you can see the output voltage. It's uh, we are on uh, AC frequency it's uh, 37 kilohertz and peak to peak voltage it's uh, 540 volts now let's see what happens when we increase the voltage Let's now let's see what happens when we decrease the voltage. 9 volts. Frequency is uh, about the same. Let's go to 8 volts. The frequency is decreasing, but very, very small. Now we have 400 volts peak to peak. Now let's go to 7 volts. It's still working. Now let's go to 6 volts. It's working. 5 volts, it's working. 3 volts it's working, 2 volts it's working, 2 volts it's working. Now at 1 volt the frequency is 39 kilohertz. If we increase the voltage the frequency is decreasing and the output voltage is increasing. Let's go up to the 15 volts. At 15 volts we have uh, 800 volts peak to peak voltage. Now let's put uh, a load. First of all, we'll use this 25 classic lamp. We have 10 volts input. 26 watts power consumption and it's working. Now let's go to 12 volts. It's working. Now let's see. 
these transistors are very warm they need the heat sink if you will use this key to maximum power transformer it's not warm but these are very warm now let's replace this lamp with this CCFL lamp it's 15 watts volts as you can see when we increase the voltage this bulb is giving more power Now let's test this uh, LED lamp, it's 6 watts LED lamp. Now it's 10 volts. Let's go up to 11 volts, 12 volts, as you can see, higher voltage uh, we apply, we get more light. With this uh, LED lamp, these transistors are not warm. Now let's see the output shape with load. As you can see, with load, the output shape is not sine wave anymore, it's a square. And the peak to peak voltage, it's 80 volts with load. And output, output frequency, it's 40 kilohertz. Now let's take out the load and see what happens. As you can see, the output uh, voltage now is sine and the frequency is doubled. Now let's put it back. Now let's go up to 12 volts. As you can see, the peak to peak voltage is the same and only the frequency modifies. Let's go up to 15 volts. Now we have 15 volts input voltage 
and the output voltage it's uh, 80 volts peak to peak now let's see the drop of voltage on the output capacitor it's uh, 300 volts now let's decrease the input voltage to 12 volts and let's see the output voltage on the secondary winding as you can see the peak to peak voltage is uh, 700 volts and the drop of voltage is on the output capacitor now that's the drop of voltage on the output capacitor Please uh, write in a comment what you think is the function of the output capacitor. I think it's a protection for the secondary winding and to limit the output power. If you have any questions, please write it in a comment. I hope that you find this helpful. And if it's so, please like and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.